Okay, guys, so this one is almost in the air. Okay, it is in the air, this processing. And I'm recording my third video today. That That's quite an achievement, okay. So this, yeah, let's get back to our game. What did we do? We uh, made a multiplayer game, right? Well, somewhat of a multiplayer game. And, um, oops, okay, it's connecting late. <laughs> Sorry, my internet's bad. Now, we need to actually have the bullets shoot and see, you know, show up on other people's screen. So, you know, for stuff like this, you know, the bullets, NPCs, like stuff that is there on your screen that you want to share onto this other guy's screen, we call them entities, okay? So, these are like... These are obviously important parts for your game, but these are like apart from the main player, what, what else is important. So this so bullets kind of come here in this category. So let's start, you know, working on it. Uh, can I, oh, sorry, I just clicked on this now. Anyways, so let's get to doing that. There is, you know, just like O player, um, well, O player is like your main thing, so you can always have global share properties here or anywhere else. But for every entity you create, you will have to use this O oh my entity, okay? And it's just like you create an entity on other people's screens, it shows up as O oh, other players entity. And we'll go into all that. So as of now, how are bullets being created? What what is there in bullets code? Really, there is nothing. It, it's actually just it, it's called O bullet, uh, cool as bullet pad. Okay, what, what else? Nothing. So for that, let's make it a bit different. Instead of creating an instance of O bullet, I'll create an instance of O my entity. Okay. Instead of creating O bullet, I'm creating O my entity, and I'll give O my entity the sprite of S bullet so it looks like a bullet as well okay now as of now we have almost changed nothing and entity is uh, wait as of now we have changed nothing and entities created and that's it so rocket networking will register this as okay something has happened you're sharing this entity and again, these are also as many as you want. You can create them and they'll be updated to the server and it'll be updated to everybody else's screen. So they're created, destroyed dynamically. You don't have to worry. So what, what do we want to share with a bullet? Again, with the bullet, what's most important is its X coordinate and its Y coordinate. So just like we did in the O player step event, we shared global share properties of the main player. Here we want to share entities, this entities property. So we call them entity shared properties. So it looks something like that's the create event, but you'll have to change it in this step event. As of now, nothing happens, at least nothing should happen. And um, in O other players entity. So O other player and O other entity O other players entity are similar. You know what I'm saying? So as of now, O player's entity has like this code. Let me just cut this out. I mean, you can put it, it just, it'll give an error. Like there's nothing sh being shared yet. So um, you can just skip this part. It, I'm just doing ex ex extra work. That's it. So So yeah, like an entity is created, but it's not exactly shared with this guy. So, you know, he can't see it. And, okay, why did I even stop? Okay, let's just go to O oh my entity and start sharing this bullet. So, O oh my entity is a bullet now, okay? O oh bullet does not exist. In fact, I'm deleting it. O oh bullet does not exist. What we are creating now, O oh my entity serves the function of O oh bullet. Of course, you might have bullets, NPCs, cars, and many other things in your game too. And that's when you'll have to create some more distinction here. Like you can put type here, like inside this, like you can just put it 
here, you know, in any okay, or in, in name, it says put it in MD property, and I've made that, so <laughs> put it there. And you'll have to carefully, you know, it'll all be shared, that's there, but you'll have to carefully change it. That, that's all I have to say. Now, in the step event, it says add stuff here, like X, Y, whatever. So, I because yeah, so the bullet was being shot, but that bullet wasn't O bullet. It was O my entity actually. It just looks the same. So here, and for the X, share your X. For the Y, share your Y. Angle here does not really matter much, and I mean, it's it's just gonna take up some extra space, and it's expensive to. It's not expensive money wise. It's expensive network wise to keep sending large data packets so make sure that this i mean you can make you can put a lot of stuff in your uh, global dot share properties but try to not have a lot in in your entities okay so x that's x y that's y and because we have made something in o my entity you have to go to o other players entity and add that stuff here so again x is real x y is and instead of sp here it's ep that's how i named it so that's pretty much it y cool now let's see how this works i actually have a feeling yeah so what happens is entities are not shared once every frame entity sharing frequency can be set here so it is three and Honestly, you shouldn't make it one because it's very expensive and it can make your game slow and packets can be sent slowly. And because web, uh, Rocket Networking uses WebSockets, WebSockets are TCP, which means every single packet is sent. So it's 100% reliable, but that comes at some expense, you know. So don't set it to one. It's good to set it to three and it would be even better if we could set it to something like five or six or ten maybe like ten that's because you're anyways going to interpolate the bullets so why do you need to keep sending its location so often that that's that's my only um, explanation it's smarter and yeah so even without interpolation it'll look a bit broken but um, it, it should work so let's see how it looks oops what's it say yeah i didn't put a comma Okay, let's move this guy a little here and let's try shooting. Okay, it's not showing up. I wonder why that is. Um, let's go here. Okay, I've shared. Okay, it says something is not set before reading it. Okay, so it took me a while, but I figured out what was wrong and it's pretty simple. Okay, so the error message is because sometimes packets get, I mean, sometimes packets do carry empty data, especially when it's, when, you, when you're just creating a bullet, the X and Y might not exist. So it is possible, which is why we have the try frame because sometimes it just happens, you know, at first. And because it works all the time, we don't bother. So just set it to, debug or just comment it out because it's not that important and stupidest mistake i made there was no sprites you obviously you, you can't see a bullet that does not exist so set it to s bullet and you know i i went to chrome for this i changed my browser imagine changing your browser to just make something work okay no need gx now we run everything although i think on chrome it can uh, it can crash like not crash it doesn't uh, clear the cache anyways so let's see here so let's shoot yes you can see so an, a bullet is being shot but it's very broken movement 
and oh yes one thing which is very important the scale of the bullets is wrong so um, because in O player I've set it to something else and anyways I'm just glad that it's being uh, shared like okay so yep now let's go to the bullet code itself the bullet sprite itself and I'll make it smaller 16 by 16 can be a bit too much is 10 by 10 okay it's okay but you know we keep it two part and so I'll set it to 8 by 8 and in O player I won't change the I won't change the X scale at all now let's just have some fun with this so um, image angle is fine but for the direction let's set it to some more randomness plus I random um, you know, minus 10 to plus 10 is, I mean, it should be fine, it won't be bad. So, minus 10 to plus 10. And now, another thing we want to have is bullets should not exist forever. When they go outside the room, they must be destroyed. So, go to O oh my entity, and I think outside room is like an event. Yeah, so when they go outside the room, instance destroy. That's it. You don't have to worry about how it gets destroyed on the server or anything we take care of that for you now let's uh, also enable interpolation i'm so sorry i mean like, that, that's so stupid i forgot to put the sprite and i'm a game developer <laughs> okay so um you know how we did that minus one thing in uh in o enemy sorry o other player so even here let's have something like uh in the create event you can have x equals minus actually i think it's uh, it's kind of done by default here so let's see how interpolation directly works here x is equal to lerp and so x comma this and the amount 0 0.5 similarly for the y it's all about experimentation like yeah, i mean this works then you check 0 0.6 and it, it just says how fast how smoothly you want this this thing to work i want it to work very smoothly now let's run this okay now you can see the bullets are going much faster okay you can see that um okay you can see there's a funny thing happening with the bullets that um they're getting interpolated from zero and then moving on their right trajectory which means you'll have to start it from x equals minus one so x equals minus one and then if uh, yeah very similar code to o and o my entity sorry o other player so here just like we did for the enemies copy it and instead of sp it will be ep because it's entity property so entity property how big is this video okay i there was a lot of debugging but uh, yeah it should be 13 minutes okay Now let's refresh both. And as you can see, it's starting from where it should start exactly. And yep, if you think the bullets are lagging, you are actually free to increase the entity sharing frequency, but interpolation is always a smarter way to go and as we have more uh, objects you see that anyways uh, is the okay is the randomness working good like it's not working as well as i expected so let me just um, let's color code them differently like 
that that's something that's definitely worth trying so you know with this randomness we can have more bullets like maybe repeat the score few times but that was bullets and you know what let me just repeat it thrice what could it be right um i'll have to wrap it in a repeat um repeat and i think how does repeat work oh sorry it's obviously curly brace and how many times like three right yeah so now three bullets will be shot it must look good and again you can set the bullet speed to lesser as well my biggest problem is i'm far away i'm not in new york but i'm not in north america or europe it would be a lot easier for me of course i can change it to an india location but uh, i mean i've just created this like willy nilly so okay so welcome hi Welcome and cool. It's shooting three bullets now, kind of like I wanted. Nice. Again, if you guys think it's broken movement, you should change the interpolation settings. Like on your end, it might not actually be broken, but you know you can still change it. And this is good progress till now. In the next video, we can add health bars and you know health. you know losing health and all that this will be a 100% production game and i will put it on gx and on lizard io don't buy the domain so yes i will do that anyways thanks so much for watching uh, i'll see you in the next one